it's Throwback Thursday. And today we are reviewing Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. I'm going to be straight with you. This is a solid buy. Even in today's economy, it is definitely worth buying as long as it's not more than $15. Why, you might ask? Let's find out. Grab your harness, secure your anchor, and let's repel like Alloy does. Aloy. So it was in 2023 that I finally played this game, and it's now 2024, more than five years since it launched in 2017. And while obviously the graphics show their age, ray tracing, for example, wasn't even a thing back then, this cult classic still slaps. While the storylines are as creative and as beautiful sometimes as the visuals themselves are, the game itself starts off hella slow exceptionally boringly slow but once you get to level seven which is when the main story arc starts then you start getting the lore and things become really really interesting and you get new abilities as well to play with in my gameplay series for this title you will see and hear firsthand what my thoughts are and what i witness in this game ranging from their take on parkour as opposed to assassin's creed series strategic and non-repetitive gameplay such as stealth or any different type of bow you want bombs traps and different damage types, along with, well, not very basic, melee, to the surprisingly bad voice acting done by Ashley Birch, which is the main character, and the poor character development that is just plaguing the whole game. I hope you guys enjoy this enough to consider buying it, even though it is 2024, possibly later, 